there, YouTubers. This is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Thanks for tuning in again. Now we're going to hop right into this new lesson. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to demo uh, selecting a specific cell using Visual Basic. Or we can select a cell relative to where you're at. For example, if you're on C3, we could say go to the left and always keep going to the left every time we run the macro or go down 50. So we're going to show you examples of relative uh, to the cell and specific cell hard-coded. So let's do the first example. Let's say we wanted to always select E5 at the beginning of our macro or in the middle or whatever. We're going to say range parentheses quote E5 quote in parentheses dot select and you notice all I have to do is start typing that word and I can hit tab because it offered me to autocomplete that. Let's try that. F5 on my keyboard or I can click my nice little play button here. F5. Alright. Oh, you know, I think it did more literally than I thought. I wanted to go to E1, not E5. E5. F. I'm hitting F5 on my keyboard and sure enough it ran it correctly. So that's a specific cell. Now we're going to go to a cell relative of our selection. In this case we want to go one cell to the left. To do that we're going to use the offset feature. So let's say wherever we're selected that's the selection dot offset and what that does is at first it's going to ask us how many rows we want to go positive number or negative number, which we can't really do when we're on row one. Uh, so we're going to say, how about zero rows, comma, how many columns? Do we want to go negative number or positive number or certain number? Let's go positive. Uh, oh, excuse me. In our example, we do we want to go to the left of the selection. So we'll go to the left once. Okay, so that would be negative one columns. In your parentheses, dot select okay and that would that would do it we'll go ahead and cancel that part out here by commenting it out now if I hit F5 it went to the left once if I hit F5 again F5 F5 now when I hit F5 again it's gonna hit an error because we can't go one more cell to the to the left see there there's your error we can debug it let's set up some boundaries okay if selection dot row excuse me dot column equals one then pretty much do nothing uh, how about okay no how about if selected column is not one then go ahead and run it and then we don't have to do an else oops end if all right, there we go. So that code will allow us to, if the selected column is number one, which is A, uh, then then uh, if it's not one, then run it. Okay. So there's our code, and it will not give us an error every time we play it. Okay. Okay. Another thing I want to review is uh, very similar to the dot select is dot activate. Pretty much does the same thing. There's a few slight distinctions. I also want to show you a couple more things with this offset because I want it to really sink in what we're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and comment that portion out also. We're going to say selection dot offset. Let's go down 50. So that would be you do the rows first, comma, the columns. So we're going to go rows. Are we going to use negative or positive? We're going to use positive. We're going downward. So positive 50 comma, let's go uh, 2 to the right. So we're going 50 down, 2 to the right. I don't know why, but why not? And dot select. And let's try that. I'm going to click here, and ideally we'll be on 52, and we'll be on column G. Let's go ahead and run our macro. We can actually run it from here using Alt F8, and let's run the one called we named Demo 1. Running it, and sure enough, we're on 52 in column G. Let's run it again. Alt F8, run it. Now we're on 102. All right, so we went down 50 and over two more. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for some more Excel VBA tricks. Thank you.